Hey, what's going on guys? Boost the Whips here. Today we're going to be installing the rear diffuser by Adro. This will be part two video. On my previous video, I went ahead and I tackled the uh, rear trunk spoiler um, by them as well. So today we're going to cover the installation for the rear diffuser. So this rear diffuser has been held on by 12 uh, 10 millimeter uh, bolts and nuts, which are these here. Um, I'll show you where, where they're positioned at. Um, and in the center, you're gonna have uh, 3M, uh, which is pre-installed, and you're gonna use two uh, of these here uh, screws which go at the center. These are either four millimeter Allen or a T24 bit. Um, so that's what you'll need as well uh, to do the install. So a 10 millimeter socket. Um, I have here a four millimeter uh, Allen bit. I have a wrench here. This is so that I can tighten um, the nut as I'm screwing it in you're gonna need an actual pry tool so that way it facilitates to take off those push clips that are on the side those push clips are gonna be replaced um, by these 10 millimeters uh, as well so there's three on each side so that covers six and then you need to put um, uh, three on, on each side on the sides here uh, most people that have already done it say that it's optional with just the uh, the three on each side plus the two in the center plus the 3m um, is suffice um, i'm gonna go that route and then i'll probably add those additional three screws um, those three screws go here on the side they're not pre-drilled on um, the hole is not pre-drilled on the actual diffuser unlike the other ones so um, it may require a little bit more work there you're gonna have to pre-drill to get these um, through of course and securing them so that's that's that so um, I already have it here secured with the push clips here on the side I already uh, removed the 3m uh, red ribbon off of there so that's already positioned so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you where those three push clips are and obviously take them off and go ahead and replace them with the screws um, and I'm gonna do the center ones um, the hole is pre-drilled but it's not um, drilled onto the bumper so we have to actually drill to the bumper to get um, this uh, bolt on there and secure it with the nut. So uh, we'll do that and uh, We'll go ahead and uh, finalize the video and see how it looks All right guys, so if you guys notice here on the corners, there's three push clips those we're gonna go ahead and take them off We'll use the pry tool since I need both of my hands. I won't do it on camera But basically you want to go ahead and remove those um, With this pry tool take those three off of there um, obviously, I already have it with the uh, actual diffuser on there, sandwiched on there. So, um, obviously, if the uh, diffuser is not on there, you just remove it off of the bumper first. You'll have three exposed holes. Uh, like I mentioned, the diffuser already comes with those preset uh, three holes. So, that way, you just take off these push clips and replace them with the uh, 10 millimeter uh, nuts and bolts. So, let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, I went ahead and I replaced the uh, push clips with the uh, bolts and nuts on here. This is very easy, just uh, once you remove the push clips, go ahead and you put in the uh, screw on there with already a preset washer that's on there. Put the nut up from the inside, you can go ahead and use your finger until it's uh, hand tight. And then you can go ahead and further secure it with your power tool using a 10 millimeter uh, socket on there and it will lock into place. The nuts that are provided are locking ones. so. It facilitates the job once you hit the correct torque it will lock into place and you'll do that on both sides I'm gonna go ahead and show you the middle all right so on the middle section on each corner you're gonna have to go ahead and put the uh, four millimeter um, uh, screw on here uh, Allen screw uh, with the washer that comes on there and a nut on there as well as a locking nut so the uh, hole is um, pre-drilled on the actual diffuser but you also have to go ahead and go ahead and drill that hole onto the bumper so I use a very small drill bit uh, maybe half the size of the actual screw and what I did is that I drilled um, kind of moving the the bit I first screwed in the center and then I started moving the bit all around just to make the hole bigger just enough until the screw can go in but nice and tight so I didn't want to use like a one fourth inch or anything like that um, that could make the hole too big um, I wanted the, the screw to be really tight on the actual um, bumper along with as well being secured with the nut so 
you'll do that on that side I'm gonna move the camera this way and the same thing on the opposite corner as you guys can see same thing you're gonna go ahead and uh, drill that um, hole onto the bumper and then apply this screw on here um, four millimeter allen and then uh, torque it in all right guys so i also wanted to show you the uh, tools that i'm using so this bit here is a one sixth uh, inch compared to a one fourth which is a lot much thicker i want to say this is a little bit too um wide for the screw it has to be probably a little bit less maybe a three eighths or something like that but i did a one a one six and it's perfectly fine went down to the center and kind of dremel out a little bit of the rest um and then i used a um, um a four millimeter uh, bit on there as well to go ahead and secure the screw makes life easier so definitely invest in some power tools um, and that's it so I'm gonna do the other corner with these last three screws replacing the push clips and I might might as well just add those additional three screws by uh, making the hole and then adding those additional uh, positions so I'll go ahead and I'll show you that as well alright guys so we're gonna go ahead and drill uh, you need to put two screws so we can use uh, corner and corner here by the exhaust area. So I'm going to go ahead and drill there. That's what the uh, manual recommends. You're going to have to do two more like around this area here. I'll go ahead and I'll show you that. And we got to replicate that same thing on the opposite side. So that's about eight more screws. Um, and then on the corners, I want to show you this. Sorry, guys. Um, you're gonna need these little Phillips screws, which go on, on the very end of the corner. Um, so one on each side of these, um, according to the manual. Um, so yeah, so here it is, I'm using a 1.6. So I'm gonna try to get this in camera without uh, jeopardizing anything, hopefully. All right, so we can do it by the corner. You don't have to be super precise. But there you go. And like I said, what I like to do. What I like to do is make the hole first. And then what I can do is. is basically Dremel out enough to try to get that screw on there. Uh, once I have the fitment where I want, as you guys can see, it's nice and tight on there. We can go ahead um, and draw that in. All right, using my 10 millimeter power tool, we're gonna try to get this. Get it drilled on there. Sorry, I was waiting for the uh, rude Mustang to pass through. So we'll use the uh, nut from the inside. And again, what you do is you can screw it with your hand, hand tight. Um, and then the rest is just pretty much easy. It locks in with the, uh, by torquing it in. So let's go ahead and do that. There you go. So you might have to apply a little bit of pressure from the inside just to make sure you get some good on there but it torques right in so we'll do the same on this corner we'll go ahead and add the two that we have or that we need here towards the center area you can put this wherever you desire um, I'll put the link to the actual manual so you guys if you want to follow it verbatim where you want to but I think as long as you put the nice uh, pressure points where you need to uh, secure it 
can go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna do the other one around here and then I'm gonna replicate that on the other side. All right guys, the installation is now complete. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, comments. Um, I tried my best to try to cover the installation, but it's a little bit hard to try to film and do um, the install at the same time. So hope I covered everything. If you guys have any questions, comments, I'll be glad to go ahead and um, answer them to you. You can go ahead and write them on the comments. Um, and once again, guys, uh, you can order this through me. Just email me at frank at tunergoods.com um, to get special pricing. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. So we're going to go ahead and probably tackle side skirts or front uh, next or possibly both. And uh, that should complete the full kit for the Adro Carbon Fiber Program under the Genesis G70 2022-2023 um, uh, models or uh, facelift. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, boost the whips. I'm out. Have a very pleasant day and God bless.